Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we'll take a look at a limited series featuring Ferrari F40LM. Uh, as you can see here, it is a seven day event that only applies if you don't own this car uh, with the limited series. That's just the way it is. And I mentioned that because this car is not a new car in the game. Uh, we've had a couple of limited time series in the past. So this is a uh, third time we're having a opportunity to run through the this uh, format of events to win the car and uh, as you might expect the PR requirement is higher this time than the last time which was higher than the first time right so anyway for running through of course you get to if you don't own the car you get to win the car which by the way is worth 800 gold so if you don't own it, I would say this is once again still the cheapest way to uh, own it. And of course, there's uh, some 50 to 150 victory points, which depending on how far along you are in the current round, um, you may win some wonderful rewards, uh, extra currency maybe, or possibly a new car. Yeah, and 80 gold. Uh, and 200,000 racing dollars. Yes, this is a racing dollar car, although it is a motorsport uh, classified car because the series, once you win the car, the main uh, series the car's featured in is uh, Endurance GT Racing 1989 season. So, yeah, uh, it's a motorsport car, but it still uses racing dollars as the main currency, along with, of course, gold. Right. And there is an exclusive series featuring this car as well, once you fully upgrade this car. And I already have uploaded the uh, series overview for that one. Uh, that's an uh, exclusive series. So if you guys are interested, uh, you can have a look at that video. I'll put the link to that in the description box below. Anyway, um, let's hop in and take a look all right so because it's ferrari you're not uh you cannot customize this car outside of what ferrari allows us to do which are basically giving us several uh different official liveries so blue is not what you normally get when you start out the game it's gonna be this ferrari red which is a beautiful color but uh you know once you fully upgrade, you can change. Uh, so I have changed mine to the blue Ferrari. Anyway, uh, earn a 1989 Ferrari F40 LM by 100% completing this special limited time series. A few of these leg uh, legendary Ferrari F40 LM were built that only a handful can be driven today. Yeah, isn't that the case? <laughs> With a lot of classic cars, right? So, all right, so the series itself, uh, as I said, does pay out the uh, 80 gold total. Uh, first 25% completion of the series pays out eight gold. By the way, the rewards, each increment goes up by a, a factor of eight. So first 25% pays you eight gold. Next 50% pays you 16. Next one 24, the final 32 which all adds up to be 80, apparently. And in terms of racing dollars, it goes up by a factor of 20,000 racing dollars. So 20,000 for first 25%, 40,000 for the 50%, 60,000 for 75, and 80,000 for the final 100%, um, which adds up to be 200,000. And then the victory points, it's the 750, 1,000, 1500, 2000, which adds up to be 5250, which is pretty typical. Well, that's been the case with just about every limited series since they uh, started doing this roundup business with the victory points, right? So there's nothing new there. But anyway, uh, but yeah, so here, in order to complete 25% completion, you need to complete tier four. Uh, which requires PR 68.7 in this series. And considering that uh, 
this car's racing dollar only upgrades get your PR only up to 67.8. Um, yeah, you cannot win any free gold from this limited series. If you're in it, you're in it to win it. So there you go. All right. And then the 50% completion um, rewards you 1,000 victory points, 16 gold, as I was saying, 40,000 racing dollars. And that requires you to complete tier 7 plus 2 gold trophies in tier 8. So you don't actually have to win the cup race in tier 8. So PR requirement to uh, get to 50% completion is a 71.6. And then... Um, Next tier, 75% completion, um, 1,500 victory points, 24 gold, and 60,000 racing dollars. Uh, that's the reward. And in order to do that, you need to complete tier 11 plus 1 gold trophy in tier 12. So that requires PR 75.1 in this series. And then, of course, the final completion, 100%. Uh, to uh, completion reward you 2,000 victory points, 32 gold, and 80,000 uh, 80, racing dollars. And uh, that, of course, requires the PR 78.8. Um, and in order to get to that PR requirement, here, let me uh, just hop in here real quick. Mine is fully upgraded, so I cannot show you the like actual steps it takes to get there. But uh, what I can show you, however, is the essentially upgrade scheme which you can also find in the description box below and it's fairly typical for these rerun rendition of limited series where you essentially have to max out a couple of categories where there is uh, essentially a racing dollar upgrade at the end like the odd number steps available for upgrade so that means we have two categories engine and body where there are five stages of upgrades available so those two you have to max out the rest you get three upgrades and that is going to cost you a total of 723 gold and uh, you need to get every racing dollar upgrades available on this car which costs you two million two hundred four thousand one hundred racing dollars and uh, with that you actually do overshoot the PR um, higher than what's required to complete this event because uh, remember requirement is 78.8 you cannot really get exactly a 78.8 um, when you're spending least amount of gold you end up with a 79.2 which unfortunately is 0.1 PR point shy of what's required to complete that the uh, motorsports season this car's featured in the 1989 endurance gt racing that one that series requires pr 79.3 so that means you have to get additional uh one more gold upgrade which remaining you know categories you have drivetrain suspension and tires and wheels uh, they're all sort of dead end upgrades like if you get gold that's it there's no more racing dollar upgrades available and the cheapest one is going to be the tires and wheels, which will cost you 130 gold. Um, so uh, that's, uh, yeah, how you're going to have to do it. Anyway, and if you want to fully max out this car, then uh, that's going to cost you a total of, uh, what, 1,153 gold. So that is 430 more gold than uh, what's required to complete the limited series. Uh, or um, 130 or no 300 more than what's required to complete the motorsports season 1989 endurance GT racing because uh, final gold upgrade for drivetrain uh, co will cost you 155 gold and the uh, last suspension upgrade will cost you 145 gold so that's 300 additional Anyway, so that's the sort of a rundown on upgrade cost associated with different, um, I guess, level of completion that you might want to accomplish with this car. So uh, now let's uh, talk about the series itself. So in order to do that, I will 
use gold to 100% complete this right away. Collect all the rewards right away. And let's confirm all the numbers. So tier 15, final uh, cup requires PR 78.8 .8, as I've mentioned. And uh, it's even though it's an older car, we don't get a 24 hour instant service and instant upgrade offer. It's been cut down to three, which is unfortunate because uh, that's not as uh, generous. And one other funny thing, um, they kind of messed up this uh, upgrade offer, instant upgrade and instant service offer. Originally, they uh, gave it to the non-LM version of F40, which is not the currently running event car. So they basically gave us now, uh, once you complete one event, uh, just a single event, then you have access to, essentially, uh, instant service. Oh, I thought they did it for both cars. I guess they took away the, uh, just the, regular F40. That was what was originally available. I checked, uh, when I checked the other day on my other account, actually, I, they showed it for both cars, so, oh well, I guess it's a non-issue really. But anyway, let's hop back into the series and confirm some numbers here and uh, uh, see what's available in this series. So tier one, we're starting out with Drag Race as Suzuka Grand Prix. Autocross at Silverstone Grand Prix and the uh, cup at Porsche Test Track long on-road circuit and it's gonna be a three-lap cup So starting out with a bang. How about that? And once again, if you want to um, Take advantage to maximize your three hours available. Remember the offers available upon completing first event, so I would start with the cup because it's a three-lap cup so it's gonna take a while. Uh, so once you complete that, the longest race in tier one is already done, and then you start three hour offer. So you maximize it by, I don't know, a couple of minutes. <laughs> Sometimes it matters, you know? Anyway, moving on to tier two, we got Endurance and Mount Panorama. Hunter at Silverstone Grand Prix, again. <laughs> That's two events at Silverstone Grand Prix back-to-back -back, autocross then hunter all right good thing i like silverstone i mean that's sort of a like the pinnacle of motorsport racing circuit right anyway following that we got cup at the brickyard indianapolis motor speedway road course and this one is going to be another three lapper with a pr requirement this time 66.2 all right, continuing on tier three, we got head to head at Dubai International Circuit, a single lapper as they tend to be in these special events, followed by elimination at Berlin Circuit. So you got to survive for what, two minutes, 40 seconds on that one. Uh, and the cup for tier three takes place at Catalonia National Circuit. Well, quick three laps with a PR 67.6 required. All right, that takes us to the 25% completion tier, tier four. We got speed record at Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix Circuit. So that's a full lap event, followed by a drag race at Manza Road Course. Uh, so second drag race. And then the cup for tier four takes place at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. Another three laps, PR 68.7 required. So as I said, that's beyond what you can reach with the racing dollars uh racing dollar upgrades only because that gets you only up to 67.8 the two digits are reversed moving on tier five we got endurance at silverstone grand prix another event at silverstone grand prix uh autocross at nurburgring sprint circuit and the cup at le mans 24 hour circuit and this is gonna be a two lap cup with a PR requirement of 69.7. So that's gonna be a bit lengthier event. 
All right, that takes us to tier six. We got Speed Snap at Spa, Hunter at Dubai uh, Grand Prix Circuit. So that's a full lap. And then the cup is gonna take place at Berlin. Four laps, PR 70.7 required. Continuing on, tier seven, we got a third installment of a drag race, which is exactly three more than I care to see. But anyway, here we are. This one taking place at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. And then we got Elimination at Monza Road Course, followed by Cup at Mount Panorama. And that's going to be a three-lap cup with a PR requirement of 71.6. All right, that takes us to the 50% completion tier, tier 8. We got head-to-head -head at Nürburgring Sprint Circuit, a single lapper. Followed by Endurance at Catalunya National. And the Cup 4 Tier 8 is going to be taking place at Suzuka Grand Prix. Three laps, PR 72.5 is required. Alright, Tier 9, we got Autocross at Spa, Speed Snap at Melbourne, and Cup at Hockenheim National. It's going to be a night race. Four laps, PR 73.3 is required. Tier 10, we got Speed Record at Berlin, and Hunter at Porsche Test Track Long On-Road Circuit and the Cup at Daytona Motorcycle Course four laps with a PR requirement of 74.2 Tier 11, we got Endurance at Suzuka West head-to-head -head at Manda Junior Course so a quick uh, single lap head-to-head -head there followed by the Cup at Nürburgring Grand Prix it's going to be, yep, another three-lap cup, PR 75.1 required. And Tier 12, we got Elimination at Mount Panorama, Speed Snap at Catalunya Grand Prix, and Cup at Melbourne, which is going to be four laps, with a PR requirement of 75.9. All right. And, by the way, Tier 12, of course, is your 75% completion tier. Tier 13, another drag race. This is what, drag race number four? Yikes. This one is gonna take, be taking place at Porsche Test Track, long on-road circuit, followed by Hunter uh, at the Brickyard Road Course, and uh, Cup at Spa, three laps, PR 76.8 required, and Tier 14, we got speed record at Hockenheim Short, followed by Autocross at Suzuka Grand Prix, and the Cup at Laguna Seca. Four laps with a PR requirement of 77.8. And that takes us to the final tier, where we got another uh, full lap event at Le Mans 24 Hour Circuit. It's going to be in the form of head to head, single lap. It's a night race. Followed by uh, Endurance at Red Bull Ring National Circuit. And the final cup is going to be at, yep, Silverstone. But not the Grand Prix, like current layout Grand Prix circuit. But the Bridge Grand Prix layout from 2009 prior. With four laps with a PR requirement of 78.8. Which, once again... Uh, will cost you some 723 gold if you are starting from like fresh, no upgrades. All right, so there we go. So there's a quick rundown of this limited series with the upgrade cost and the rewards and the types of events that you can expect to see in here. So hopefully you guys found the information useful. And uh, yeah, race on. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.